I'm here with Randolph Carter. My name is Jim Huss in the showroom of uh, Keyboard Exchange International in sunny Sanford, Florida. It's actually sunny today. <laughs> and number 472 is our company reference number. And Randolph, uh, this is an instrument that I wouldn't recommend for everybody. Like, I wouldn't even recommend it for you to play in your church. Right. It's not really well suited for, say, Kojic denomination and other denominations, but it's perfectly well suited for other denominations, and that's why the Hammond Organ Company built this organ with 32 bass pedals. You spent a few uh, minutes practicing and getting familiar with the features, but can you tell us about this organ before you start to play? Uh, well, it's like you mentioned, it has 32 bass pedals, it has uh, the MIDI feature have a lot of built-in presets that's more befitting for liturgical, sacred music, which, you know, when we use those terms, that's uh, more relative to uh, hymns, anthems, and so forth. So. Absolutely. So there's, we don't want to ever sell someone, in, someone an organ that's not appropriate for their style of music. Right. What's happening is people are trading organs like this in for a B3. Maybe a congregation moved into a different church, or maybe somebody donated an organ like this to them, but it's not appropriate for the type of music that we're normally displaying around here and promoting for Church of God Pentecostal type uh, services. But it's totally appropriate for home uh, practice, because it's got self-contained speakers, or in a church, once you add some big Leslie speakers to it, I mean, it could be the primary instrument in many, many churches and, and it would be a real blessing to them. Yes. We just want to make sure we find the most appropriate home for this and, and never ever sell an organ that's not appropriate for the style of music. Right. And it does have transpose as well and some other, like I said, some other features. Oh, that's huge. Transpose, MIDI, it's, it could be a workstation for someone at home. Someone could add some of the sounds from the best pipe organs in the world via MIDI to this keyboard and pedals, 32 pedals. Yes. So it's going to be economical, and uh, Randolph, without further ado, why don't we let you roll this beautiful rolling top back up, turn it on, and let the people know how it sounds. Thank you, Mr. Carter.
I'm Jim Huss, speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years, and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.